friends, Miss Anna here. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you're new here, I want to welcome you to North Church Kids. We have been having so much fun this month talking about DIY projects. You know, DIY, do it yourself. If you think about it, forgiveness is a DIY project too. No one can make you forgive someone. You have to choose to do it yourself. And you'll be a lot better off if you do. Forgiveness is deciding that someone who has wronged you does not have to pay. It means you forgive someone even if they cut in front of you in line, even if they say something mean about you, even if your brother or sister breaks your favorite toy or maybe your favorite video game. Forgiveness is not easy, but God thinks it's really important, not just for the person we forgive, but for us too. And remember, forgiveness may be a DIY project, but we don't have to do it alone. God can help us forgive. Today we're going to be in the book of Luke, chapter 15, verses 11 through 24. If you have your Bible, why don't you turn there with us so that you can follow along. You may need to pause this video to give you some time to do that. Remember, Luke is found in the New Testament, which is the second part of the Bible. You have Matthew, then Mark, and then Luke. When you're ready, let's watch this video together. Hey, John. Sorry, I'm late. Wow, look at these gifts. Wrapped them myself. Who are they for? You. Me? Yep. Why? Cuz. Cuz? Yeah, just cuz. No. No? No. No, there's never just a cause with you. Did something happen? What did you break? No, I'm giving you these gifts in honor of what we've been talking about all month. No, uh, no, I, you know what? I'm not accepting these. And furthermore, I'm actually leaving until you apologize for whatever it is you did or didn't do. But no, but no, but I said no. <sighs> Man, I just wanted to show him a little forgiveness. I'll be right with you. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Hello? Uh, yes, I was wondering if you could send over a painting restoration expert to my address. Yes, I need a painting that needs to be restorized. Yes? You oh, you can? Oh, that's great. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, it's so great that they guessed my address. Okay, this just might work. Hi, and welcome to the so-and-so show. I'm John, and Steven, Steven, Steven! Uh, 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 hide the painting, hide the painting, hide the painting. Oh, Here we go, hide the painting, hide the painting, hide the painting. Okay, shh, 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 okay. Oh. oh, hide the smaller painting, hide the smaller painting, uh, hide the smaller painting! Hey. <laughs> Hey! Hey! It's Steven! Yeah! And boy, do we have an exciting and, and quick, quick show for you today. Yeah, sorry I'm late, everyone. Yeah. Have you been painting or something? What? Painting. Oh. No, 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 no. There's paint on your face. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Oh, right! Um, I'm practicing face painting. On yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to develop a new product that's called Self Face Painting Face Paint Kit for Selves. The design is, uh, it's, it's, it's a Jackson Pollock face paint. Ah, right. Because kids love Jackson Pollock. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so funny! <laughs> anyway, it's good that we're talking about paint because I wanted to show everyone the painting that you've been keeping safe for me. Huh? Hey, no. The one that I had cleaned for my grandmother's 101st birthday. Hmm? 
You know, the painting that's been passed down from generation to generation in my family for hundreds and hundreds of years and is literally the last remaining image of my great, 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 Great-grandfather, Sir Mikhail of Forgotten Loud. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one. That one, yeah. So, where is it? Somewhere safe, I hope. Let's play a game! What? Yeah, it's time to play Find Stephen's Family Painting Blindfolded. Why would we do that? Do I get a hint? <laughs> Where's the fun in that? No, no peeking. Okay, well, can you at least tell me, am I getting warmer? Oh, you're warm. Oh, 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 oh you're on fire. That's a room. No! Oh! Someone from this address call for a painting restoration expert? A what? <laughs> it's time for someone who knows stuff. <laughs> Steven, show our guest a seat. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Here you are. There you go. Okay. What is going on? Nothing! <laughs> so, so, so who are you and what do you know? I am Jonas Skoda. I restore paintings. Someone from here asked for me to restore a... Hey, you know what? That's fascinating. Hey, thank you so much for coming. Hey, that was someone who knows stuff. Da -da -da -da. Hey, guys, sorry, I gotta go really... Wait, 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 wait. You're not someone who knows stuff, are you? Well, I mean, I know some stuff. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, 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 how dare you, Steven? You know what, you should be very offended that he even thought you didn't know anything. I would leave here as fast as humanly possible. Stop! Mr. Escada, will you please come back in? He said please. I did say please. Can you get his chair? Oh, yeah. Have a seat. <clears throat> John, uh, what is going on? Where's my painting? You know which painting that I'm talking about. Okay, okay. It's here, it's a little different. Oh, what did you do? I did nothing. Uh, I figured you did nothing. So I stored the painting in a safe place, like you said. Okay. But then I didn't. John. I took it on an outing. An outing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you guys out there, you know how people uh, take stuffed animals all over the world and take pictures of them in front of famous landmarks and stuff? <laughs> well, well, I, I, I thought I'd do that with your painting. Okay. It, it was going to be my gift to your grandmother. Wow. So the first place I took it was a coffee shop. Okay. See? Awesome. See? See? Yeah. That's me at the coffee shop with your painting. Okay, well, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, but then my coffee came, and I tasted it, and it was really hot. Okay. And so I, uh... Spit coffee all over my painting? No! Okay, good. Whew. I spit coffee on the person next to me, then they threw their coffee at me. But it missed. That's good. Well, that coffee got on your painting. What? Huh? Okay, I tried. I tried wiping it off, but but paint and liquid they don't they don't react well together. John, why would you try to wipe it? Okay, okay. Just get it. Here it please. is. Please. Here it is. Here yes. It. Here we go. <laughs> I cannot fix that. No. Good day. It's a bad day. Uh, Why? What? What is? What is? I'm oh. so sorry, Stephen. I'm. I'm really sorry. I, I. I. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hello, friends. What is up? What is? That! This is Steven's painting. And I ruined it. Yikes. <laughs> oh boy. You guys are going to need today's story. It's all about forgiveness. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I mean, yeah. That sounds good. That sounds good. And, here to help me tell it, I've got the so-and-so show players. Oh, not them. 
I mean, yay! Oh, yay! You like these cars, right? They will be performing the parable of the prodigal son, a story Jesus told. Awesome! <laughs> Can it be funny? Someone needs a little cheering up. I mean, it's not really a funny story. Like a sitcom or something with canned laughter and everything. When, when, when that make you happy? When... <laughs> oh, take it away! They're my two sons. <sighs> Jesus said, there once was a man who had two sons. The younger one spoke to his father. <laughs> ba -ba -ba bingo <laughs> Son! Dad! I won my inheritance. Oh, how much? Oh, wow, let me see. Um, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, all of it. <laughs> so, the dad divided his property between his two sons. Uh, <laughs> here's your half. Whoa! <sighs> half of what? Oh, I'm claiming my inheritance. I'm gonna go to some distant lands and live the way that I want to live. Bingo! <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, your shoe's untied. Oh. Made you look. Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> the son went to a distant land Bingo! where he had squandered every oh, single dollar Bingo! he had. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, bingo, bingo, bingo! <laughs> you want some bingo? Bingo! <laughs> bingo. Bingo. Ah! Bingo! 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 Not long after, a drought hit the land, and there wasn't enough food. So the younger son got a job feeding slop to pigs. Chewy! Man, I am so hungry. Man, I really want to eat some of this slop. Better not be eating any of that slop. That's high quality slop. Yeah, yes. Feed the pigs. No one gave him anything, but then he came to his senses. Man, how many of my father's hired servants have food to spare, and here I am nearly starving to death. Wait, I'll go back to my father. Bingo! No, 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 I, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. <sighs> As the younger son made his way back to his father's house, he practiced a speech he hoped would convince his father to at least let him be a servant. But before the son made it all the way home, my son? My son! My son! <gasps> My son. Wait. Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I'm not worthy to be called your son. Quick, somebody, anybody, bring the best robe, a ring, and sandals. Bring the fattest calf and prepare it for a feast. My son was dead, but he's alive again. He was lost, but now is found. You forgive me? Bingo! Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> what a miss. To be continued. Amazing story, Callan. Quick question, though. How could the father forgive his son after everything he'd done? Well, remember, this was just a story Jesus told. But there was a point. The dad in the story is like God, 
And we are like his children. And no matter what we've done or will do, God loves us. And he is willing to welcome us back with grace and mercy. Wow. Yeah, that's the kind of forgiveness we should be showing the world around us. That is powerful. I'll say, well, um, hope that painting gets, uh, bye. Yeah. So. Yes. I. I forgive you, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. Oh, and, and to make it up to you, I will personally repaint this no. painting. I will personally hire somebody to repaint this painting. Yes, please. Fair enough. <sighs> and until then, reveal the question. Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, when has someone forgiven you? Uh, hello? Right, like, right this second? Right and now. it feels amazing. Yeah, you know what? It kind of feels good for me, too. Ah, uh, wow. Forgiving helps the forgiver, too. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So when has someone forgiven you? Talk about it together. And talk about how it made you feel. And maybe forgive someone while you're at it. Yeah, and we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah. Yeah? Is that okay. But so what's the uh, so I'm going for the cubist <laughs> kind of thing. Cubism. Like I want like my Your eyes face is right here, square and shaped. My nose is up here. Yeah, I'd like to see a little bit like a Rothko is what you've got going on. Oh yeah, yeah, you're very blendable. Mm-hmm. Can I help get some help? You know what kids like Rothkos? They <laughs> <laughs> There are definitely times when I mess up and need to be forgiven. There are people who I need to forgive too, and that's not always easy. The truth is, everyone needs to be forgiven. And it's easier to forgive when we remember how forgiving God is toward us. Just like Kellen said, God is like the father in the story Jesus told. And all of us are like the younger son. We all make bad choices and run from our father sometimes. But when we come to our senses, we remember that we can trust God no matter what. We remember that we can always come back to Him and find His perfect love and forgiveness. He's always waiting to forgive us when we mess up. God has had a rescue plan for all of us ever since the very beginning, ever since Adam and Eve first sinned in the garden. When the time was right, God sent Jesus to be our Savior. And Jesus carried out God's plan by taking the punishment for the things that we do wrong. All you have to do is believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that He came to die for your sins. And your sins, every single one, will be forgiven. God offers us forgiveness once and for all because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. Everyone needs to be forgiven. That's why Jesus died for us. Anytime you mess up, you don't ever have to wonder if God will forgive you. You know He will. All you have to do is ask. You can come back to Him and find His love and forgiveness every time. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for allowing us to connect with each other through this way. And um, God, thank you for your beautiful word that you've given us today. And God, help for us to to forgive others just how you forgive us every single day. God, help for us to love others, help for us to serve others just as you have. In Jesus' name, amen. Parents, if you haven't already, I want to encourage you to download the Parent Q app. This is a free app that ties into our lesson each week. After you've downloaded the app, you need to create an account, input your child's information, and this information will help the app know which age-appropriate lesson to give you. Um, you'll also need to know that the church name is under North Monroe Baptist Church, not North Church Bastrop. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or email me at Anna at NorthMonroe.com. Check back in next Monday as we come to a close in our forgiveness series. I'm praying for you and hope you have a great week. Bye.